4th of July is coming up soon and I bet you're all looking for the perfect dessert to make. Well, here it is. This is the most American dessert you could ever think of. It's s'mores. And even though half of my family doesn't really like s'mores, I'm still going to make them because s'mores are great. And this time, they're going to be s'mores bars made in the oven, not over the campfire. Join me and follow along as we make this wonderful 4th of July dessert. So first off, we're making the graham cracker crust. I have three cups of crushed graham crackers, and then I'm going to add half a cup of packed light brown sugar, and 14 tablespoons of salted melted butter. And I'm just going to stir these all together. Oh, this smells so good. And it's all fully combined now, and now we're going to put it in our baking pan. I have a 9 by 9 baking dish, and I'm going to line it with foil. This will help later so that you can easily remove the s'mores. And I'm also going to spray my foil with some cooking spray. Ooh. And you can just pour all of your graham cracker crust in there. Wow. Okay, this is really thick right now, so take your spoon or you can use a measuring cup and press it down into the pan. Alright, I'm all done pressing my graham cracker crust into the baking pan and my oven is preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to bake this for about 10 minutes or until it's lightly browned. Alright, my graham cracker crust is done. It was in there for about 13 minutes and it smells so good. But now I'm going to set it aside and then we're going to melt the chocolate layer. So for the chocolate layer, I'm going to get a small pot of simmering water and then I have 12 ounces or two full cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips and then I'm going to add a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk into the chocolate chips. This stuff is so good. Anytime you add it to a dessert, it just it's completely amazing. Now I'm going to set my bowl of chocolate chips and sweetened condensed milk over the pot of simmering water and I'm gonna wait for it to melt. Okay, once your chocolate is all smooth and melty like this, take it off the heat. Be careful because it's very hot. And I'm gonna take my bowl out and pour it right over the graham cracker crust right away. And then I'm gonna use my spatula to even out the chocolate. Now the last layer is the marshmallows. I'm using full size marshmallows. You're gonna put them in there, kind of next to each other, and press them into the chocolate a little so they're like halfway covered. You can cover the whole thing in marshmallows if you want, or you can just cover half, or if you don't really like marshmallows. I guess it wouldn't be a s'mores dessert, but it's still chocolate and graham crackers, which is really good. Now I'm gonna switch my oven to broil, and I'm going to toast the marshmallows for one or two minutes. Oh my goodness, these look so delicious. The marshmallows are perfectly toasted. And now I'm gonna let it cool down for a little bit. Okay, these s'mores are pretty much cooled down, but they're still a little warm, but that's the best way to eat s'mores if you ask me. I'm gonna take it out. And that was so easy because I had the foil. And now, oof, I gotta cut it. It's very melty on the sides. So I'm just trying to, ooh. Ooh, the marshmallow, it's like crispy on top. Mmm. Hmm. Mm. It's all perfect. This is like my new favorite dessert. I can't stop eating it. Mmm. If you love s'mores or you love chocolate or marshmallow or graham cracker crust, this dessert is perfect for you. It's simple to make and the best part about it is you don't even have to have a campfire to enjoy your s'mores. Well, thank you so much for baking with me today. Let me know if you ever make s'mores bars or any other s'mores desserts. Have a happy 4th of July, and I'll see you next time on You're Stirring It Wrong.